Good morning, and welcome to Dickinson State University's Fall 2021 Convocation Ceremony. Convocation means to convene or assemble. It's a traditional ceremony that formally marks and celebrates the beginning of a new academic year. Convocation celebrates your entry into higher education and serves to formally induct you into our Dickinson State University community. I'm Dr. Deborah Dragseth. I'm the Vice President for Academic Affairs and Provost. Seated behind me are Hillary Moberg, President of the DSU Student Senate. Also behind me, Coach Pete Stanton. Pete is our head football coach as well as the athletic director. Please extend a warm welcome to the 13th president of Dickinson State University, President Stephen Eastman. Hi, hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Dickinson State. Uh, we hope you have a wonderful experience here. Uh, I guess I'll mention two things. First, of course, most important, work hard, study hard, go to classes. Uh, I tell people a lot that the college experience is very much set in your first six weeks being at school. If you get into the habit of doing all the assignments, going to class, then that's the habit you'll be in and you'll be successful. And if you get into another habit, it's going to be tough to dig yourself out of it. So number one, uh, do a good job studying. Uh, and then number two uh, is uh, there's a lot going on other than just classes at Dickinson State. We encourage you to support your fellow students by attending their concerts, their plays. We have a lot of programming, uh, you know, bringing in, bringing in uh, um, guest experts. And when, they, when you see those, we hope you'll attend. A lot of you had a lot of fun at the... Uh, Mentalist, he still has me a little freaked out from uh, uh, from Saturday night because I can't figure out how he did all that stuff and the hypnotist last night. Uh, and you'll just enjoy the experience more if you if you participate in those events. I should also mention, of course, athletics. This is where our football team plays and our track team runs. Uh, and we've got, of course, volleyball starting out in the fall uh, at Scott Gymnasium. Uh, and uh, the cross country teams uh, will, will kick off their seasons and the golf teams and a whole bunch of other things. So please support your fellow students and you'll enjoy your experience more uh, if you come to their uh, uh, concerts, uh, plays, uh, events, and games. So we're so glad to have you at Dickinson State. I myself was a Dickinson State student a long time ago, uh, 1970s. That's not good math. I'll let you do the math if you want to. Uh, I try to avoid it, but we're really excited to have you here. Have a great Blue Hawk experience. Uh, and uh, as, as we like to say around here, Hawks are up. Thank you. Thank you, President Neeson. Now please welcome Student Body President, Ms. Hillary Mulberg. Hello everyone, as Dr. Dragseth mentioned, I'm Hilary Moberg and I'm the student body president. I am so honored to be in this position and I want to welcome you all to this convocation and to DSU. Those of you who have been at DSU for a few years may know this, but for those of you who are new to the flock, I am the third and final Moberg child to be up here speaking as student body president. It is the fourth year in a row someone with the Moberg last name has been in this spot. And I'll be honest, it's a lot of pressure pressure to be as poised, as well-spoken, as inspirational, as successful as my sisters were before me. Pressure that only I have put on myself. You may face similar pressures in your own lives. Maybe you also want to live up to your sibling's legacy or you want to create your own path. Maybe sports or music or theater are where you want to shine and you feel pressure to succeed in those. These kinds of pressure we may feel can be overwhelming and incapacitating. And I don't say all this to stress you out or make you feel this pressure if you didn't already feel it. I say this as a message of hope. While I may feel pressure to live up to the name my sisters made for themselves when they were each student body president, I know that I'm the only one who feels that way. While everyone I've worked with here, faculty, staff, and students may know my name or my family, 
None of them have forced me to fit into a preconceived idea they have of me based on interactions they had with my sisters or my dad. They've all given me a chance to be my own person and fulfill this role in my own way. I may fail at times and I may succeed. Both of these outcomes are okay. They're a part of life, but neither failure nor success make me any better or worse than my sisters or those around me. That's one of the things I love most about DSU. No matter who you are, where you come from, or where you've been, you are welcome here at DSU. Everyone here will cheer for you as you succeed, comfort you through your failures, and do their best to relieve any pressure you may feel. Because of this, DSU is the perfect place to take risks. Join a new club or organization like PBL, Science Club, Student Senate, the list goes on. Go to school-sponsored events or dorm-hosted activities to make new friends. Go to the football, basketball, volleyball, softball, baseball games, watch the competitive cheer team, go to a rodeo, attend the musicals and plays, go to the band and choir concerts. Try your best to experience new things you haven't before and get involved on campus because it truly makes the university experience so much better. When I was in junior high and high school, I was a swimmer and a speech and debate kid. DSU does not offer either of those teams, but I knew when I graduated that I wasn't ready to give up being part of a team environment. I took a risk and reached out to Coach Fleury about becoming a manager for the softball team, despite the fact that I had little to no knowledge on the sport. Now I'm on year three of being the manager and I know all or most of the fancy terms and lingo that seemed like Greek to me my first semester. I'm extremely grateful I took that risk because it's given me so many memories with great people all over the place. Even when I was afraid of catching the ball or confused on why it was called a no-hitter if a lot of people were definitely hitting the ball, everyone was patient with me and supportive. They taught me what I needed to know and now I've got a pretty solid record of catches in the outfield during warm-ups. All of this somewhat embarrassing information about myself to say, that's who the people here at DSU are. They're patient, supportive, giving, and they won't give up on you. So take a risk and join something new. Find other residents in your dorm who want to have late night game nights while some work on homework and others try to pretend it doesn't exist. Don't be afraid to fail or succeed. Each win and every loss is a teaching moment and a memory you won't soon forget. Be supportive of those around you and lift them up too. Because here at Dickinson State, we are all a part of one big family and I hope you won't forget that. But more importantly, never forget that Hawks are up. this morning is Mr. Pete Stanton who this is actually his house and he's allowing us to use it today so thank you to the to the football team who are ranked number one in our conference we're our football players yay they're gonna make us proud it's gonna be a great year so please help me welcome coach Pete Stanton thanks and, and welcome everyone it's great to have everybody together to start off uh, another year uh, we've had about 200 students that have been here the last two or three weeks so we've gotten off to a great start there we appreciate what uh, everybody in the food service has done for us what everybody in the, the housing area has done for us what everybody in the facilities area has done for us we can't thank those three groups enough for for all that they do for us and there are unsung heroes and without those guys being able to do all those things uh, we wouldn't be uh, where we're at on campus so thank you to the facilities and to the housing uh, people into the food service people for all you're doing you're just doing a great job of taking care of our students so thank you for that uh, for the uh, last year we we had we had a, a, quite a few athletes on campus we were excited to add they're they're not as excited as sitting down here right now but they will be in a second a competitive cheer team that did really well last year it was great to have them on campus uh, last year and they had a they had an outstanding first year we also brought back baseball a year ago if you remember this time last year I talked about that and that baseball team came back uh, after being being not not playing for a couple of years came back into the fold and finished third at the conference tournament this last year so congratulations to to that team we, we were going to also have JV sports, uh, JV uh, teams in, in basketball, men's and women's basketball, and volleyball. We weren't able to do that with COVID last year, but we're looking forward to, to being able to do that as well. 
We're exciting to have a lot of things going on in campus. We had a softball team that, that made the national tournament last year that played down in Oklahoma City. And in another year, right over the top of the hill, uh, we're going to be constructing a, uh, a complex that's going to be a competitive softball field for, for our softball women. And they're going to have the field to play in in the, in the spring of 2023. So that is, that is on its way, and we're excited, excited about that part of it as well. We're excited, you know, just we, uh, one, what you had said about keeping the students involved. We want to keep everybody involved in a part of what's going on. We've got intramurals coming up. Be active in that. Be a part of that. We've got a lot of things going on on campus. Uh, get to know the faculty. We have an outstanding group uh, of faculty members that are right here that are, that are ready to help you, that care about you, that are going to do a lot of great things for you. So faculty. You can't say enough about how they are going to help you. You have to get to know to know them. So like I said, a lot of things starting right now with all of our fall sports in, in athletics, with our intramurals, our rodeo team and programs going to be get going here. We have a lot of activities that are on campus. We, we, we encourage you to get involved in that and, and uh, get involved in all the, all the things that are, that are going on on campus. Get to the activities, get to the games, have fun doing that, and welcome back. Thanks, Coach. All right, now we're going to sing the DSU fight song. The words will should appear um, on the screen, and our DSU award-winning cheer team and the DSU pep band. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you to the DSU cheer team. Thank you to Jarvis Donner, Jeremy Warlitz, Brett Rogers, and Brian Holder for supplying the music today. Thank you to our cheer team for bringing the team spirit. We hope that you're enjoying the convocation program, which will close with our singing of the alma mater, traditional ringing of the gong by our student body president. She's been waiting for this for weeks. And we're going to take a photograph out on Fisher Field. So as soon as the gong is struck, <laughs> gonged, right? Um, the DSU alma mater is being performed by DSU quartet, Kristen Bone, a junior double majoring in music and psychology, Julia Schaap, a recent graduate of the DSU music program, Joel Walters, adjunct music faculty, and Dr. Brent Rogers, associate professor of music. We'll ring the gong, and then we're gonna take a photograph out on Fisher Field. So what I want the students to do is to come out onto the field. We have some photographers around on the ground and in the sky. Surround the hawk on the field, but try not to be on the hawk, if that makes sense. So around, surround the hawk and face that way, and we will take our class picture. All right, DSU alma mater.
Wow, thank you. Hillary. Before I ring the gong, I'm going to explain why we do this every year. So back before DSU was the DSU that we know today, it was a normal school, which means that they only had future teachers here taking classes. And they uh, struck the gong at the beginning and the end of every single class period. So now we're going to strike it to signify the beginning of this school year. Excellent. Now if you would come down for your photo on Fisher Field. After the group photograph, we welcome you to join us for the President's Picnic under the Jumbotron provided by Student Affairs. A quick thank you to Sodexo for setting up and providing lunch and Pepsi for the beverages today. Thank you to Tim Kessel for capturing this moment in pictures. Faculty and staff may stay in the stands or if you want to, you can pop out for the photograph. Thanks everybody, have a great year.